Hello again everyone, nice of you to join us. I don't do this normally because I'm not one for sitting completely in front of a camera and showing bits of film in between, in between talking. But just at this beginning, I just want to talk about a few things which we've been asked numerous times by different people so I thought we'd better clarify a few bits. If you don't want to listen, if you go to that time there, that's where the cruising video starts. So you can please yourself, you can listen to us or fast forward to that. Right, a few bits and pieces. People have asked why do we not want any donations to support what we're doing? Well, it doesn't sit well with us. It never has, and we've never asked for, for anything, because it's a hobby. It could never be described as work, what we do making our, our videos. It's a complete pleasure. It can take a bit of time, but that's not work for us. We've done work over the years, a lot of hard work, but certainly making uh, our videos are definitely, definitely cannot be described as work. So. Asking somebody to uh, donate or support via Patreon or buy the coffee just doesn't feel right for us. It's up to other people, obviously, but to us, it doesn't. It just doesn't sit, and uh, we uh, will never do it. That being said, if you've got any inkling to want to donate to us which you can't do because we've not given you the info. We support and donate to quite a few charities. And the four who are here now around us, they are very close to us, they really are. And we donate and help out on a regular basis. And if you want to do the same, you know, just make a one-off payment, or a monthly donation that to us is greatly appreciated and that's our we you know we, that's gratitude from us to you if you do that because a lot of these places the, the charities and all that do fantastic work but they are struggling it's hard for everyone and all that it's hard for everyone and, and very very difficult at the moment but rather than give me money or me and Bernadette money it feels so much better if you if you could afford it and give some to these charities which do fantastic work that's our personal thing I don't you know anybody else who does it fair enough but that's that's uh, that's our honest opinion the next thing privacy now believe it or not we do our youtube channels and we like i said channel and we love doing it but it's not all encompassing for us it's something what's there we've done hundreds of them now hundreds of videos and i know you're supposed to keep yourself visible and you're using all the your twitter and and throwing out videos and all that keep you visible and keep keeps recommending other people and this that and the other but quite simply we haven't got time so it's not all about people uh, viewing and commenting on our channels on our channel I keep saying channels don't I but it's more about the satisfaction we get for getting videos out there for people to watch and if you like it brilliant if you subscribe brilliant you can comment if you want i know we're a bit slow on comments but i get back to them and try to answer them in a nice way well i do answer them in a nice way to be honest so that is just part of our the way we live we live a we have a lovely life i know some people struggle as well and i understand that but we have a lovely life doing many things it's not all boat orientated but the privacy thing is so important. If 
you give out so much information online, people can start to find a lot out about you. And not all in a good way. You know, that's just the way we feel. So we keep a lot of our life private. Some people have actually, you can't believe it, but there's some people who've contacted us via comments and got very uppity because they wouldn't give them the information, you know, and, gone, um, and they got very, uh, very nasty and weird and were starting to delete stuff and, you know, and say things. But if you don't want to watch our videos because we keep private, and the simple thing is you don't watch them. You know, that's it. People may think we're a little old fashioned or I'm a little old fashioned. When I, but when I make videos, I like to make them realistic and honest. But I see so much now, which it can put you off. And that's the reason why we don't watch as many <coughs> canal videos anymore because there's too much baloney, I call it. <laughs> it's, it's just a fact. This clickbait is rubbish. I hate clickbait. I can't stand made up stories. I can't, I, you know, I don't like looking at videos where it's like a big event took place, but it's not. You know, there's, we bought it for so long and yet we've seen some of these channels and the so-called drama they've had, you know, is, is incredible considering, you know, we've done 40, over 46 years. We've not had anything happening like that. So if you've not fast forwarded to our cruising video, it's coming up now. And we hope you enjoy watching. So let's get going. When cruising along in lovely weather like this, I always have a think about all the canals and all the places we've been. You, you start to think what's, you know, what's the nice places. And take it from me, of all of them, I think the Shropshire Union, the Clangothlam when it's quiet, you know, in the Middlewich branch, there's not really much to beat them because of, of, of where they are, you know, very, very rural. Not much, uh, should we say, not much badness, should we say, is that the way to do it or anything like that? You, do, you feel very safe on them. And of all of them, we feel, we feel that in that area, it's, it's, it's by far the nicest. It feels really good. Hence, you know, we could we could have moored our boats anywhere. You know, we could go on any marina we wanted. And we've always stayed in this area because it it's, it's hard to describe. You know, it really is hard to describe. You know, people have their own favourites, but. This is what I call the Anunipot area, the area this. It's where all the good stuff is. Very soon, we're back to At Green. I don't know if there's any uh, boats there. It can get very busy, but we might have been, you know, we might be a bit lucky and there's not, uh, not too much going on, which would be very nice. I know I'm going on about it a bit, but another another boat's just gone past, and he just said to us, "Whatever you do, do not stop doing your vlogs." He says, "They are boating vlogs. What you do, proper boating vlogs." <laughs> oh God, I'll have to be careful, or I'll start getting big-headed. <laughs> No, I won't do that, honestly. I'll just continue doing what I like doing. And that's it.
you just moored on the lock landing? No, it's just this side of the lock oh, landing. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we know that boat, yeah. Well, it was a large gin. Oh, was it? <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah, a large tonic and a mini gin. Oh. The instruction was I couldn't have a large gin. Oh. <laughs> That's what folks used to all about. Yes, it? absolutely. Right. How are you doing, fellow, over well water? Yes, <laughs> yes. been it this time yet yet
I might let you on if you get another gin and tonic. Okay, a tonic will do then. Go on, I'll come for you then. You can have a gin and tonic when you stop. All right. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. I'm policing it. Oh. Fair enough. Can't argue. Come in, it's all right. Just come in gently for you. Let it just come in gently for you. Oh yes, well you know me. cool pilot at the moment it's not got a blue sign because it was taken down because they spelt pilot wrong <laughs> so it's got nothing there at the moment even though the sign what it had originally was still quite adequate <laughs> so that was a bit of a waste wasn't it brand new big sign wrong spelling <laughs> yeah. say again Oh, oh, cool Pilates, yeah, yeah. Pilot, as in P I L O T. <laughs> I can see our cooking spot. Oh yes. Good, good. Mixed salad, yeah. Yes, I know, but well, that's the only thing we have to be careful of. I did get caught out, it's the first time for ages of studying dog muck. I know, I know. Remember the other 
one there was. Yeah, pull back a bit, might be safer. Go on then. It disgusts me, does it you? Our video comes to an end though. All people who've watched before I know it's a familiar area where we like stopping at Cool Pilot. But like many other places, them blinking dog mines. You know, it's it's not just people who walk the dogs on the tour path, it's boaters as well. Boaters who let the dogs off and just do it anywhere. And we see it. You know, we can't you can't deny it, it happens loads. And it's hard to have a go at people because they tend to be very defensive and you know you just you just have to get frustrated and ignore it all. You know, we saw one guy on the, on a boat behind us. He had loads of bags of dog mess on the top of his boat. And the next thing is flinging them all into the trees next, you know, on the, on the canal side. And I said something to him. And my goodness, he was obnoxious, abusive and threatening. Now... It's easy to get involved in these things, but I, I, I backed off because I'm not into all that rubbish. And I backed off, still frustrated and annoyed, but if they're one of those type of people, it's not worth it. We backed off, back in the boat, and just got on with our, um, our life, enjoying, you know, things like we, we do together and that's that's us happy anyway try not to be negative we hope you enjoyed watching most of that video if not all of it and next time what are we doing next time we're doing a bit of that a bit of that a bit of that and a bit of that and perhaps a bit of that but you'll have to watch to find out what i'm on about <laughs> <laughs> so for now that's it and we look forward to seeing you in the next one tara